speaker, sir. I thank you for giving an opportunity for my party, Telangana Rasa Samiti, to respond to the budget presented by the Honorable Finance Minister for the year 2006-2007. Sir, at the outset, I thank the Honorable Finance Minister for presenting an all-encompassing budget which covered many macro and micro level issues. Sir, Honorable Finance Minister had succeeded in fiscal management and fiscal consolidation and was able to contain the revenue deficit to 2.1% and fiscal deficit to 3.8%. Sir, this should be appreciated by one and all. Sir, presenting his third budget of the UPA government, Honorable Finance Minister had used this budget exercises for rationalization of the direct taxes and indirect taxes to ensure the growth of economy as well as the growth of revenue collection. Sir, now coming to the major issues. Sir, the flagship program of UPA government, that is National Rural Employment Guarantee Act program. Sir, this program has immensely helped the backward region in Andhra Pradesh, that is Telangana. Sir, I would like to mention here all the districts in Telangana, that is nine districts in Telangana, are being covered under the National Rural Employment Guarantee Act. Sir, this indicates our fight for a separate state because we were telling that this region is a backward region in the country and all the districts. You are well aware, sir, that the Planning Commission is the authority to fix the backward districts in our country. And all the districts had come under this program. So I would like to mention, I am taking this opportunity to bring to my colleagues that this region is the most backward region in the country, and it deserves a kind attention from the government. Separate sir. Telangana. We want separate Telangana and separate Vidar. Thank you, thank you, sir. We want separate Telangana and separate Please, Vidar. Please, Ramadasji, I am not telling you. Sir, take your in this context, sir, sir, as a member of the parliament member, for the last two months, I have told my constituency and as well as the other parts in my district. Sir, in each mandal, sir, the government authorities, the district administration thought that we will get around one or one and a half lakh applications. But as on today, it has rose to four lakhs in my district. Sir, my friend, Mr. Sudha Karadi, Gauru has just now said that the applicants in Andhra Pradesh has gone to 34 lakhs. But uh, this program has a continuous enrollment. I feel that this may go up to 50 lakhs in Andhra Pradesh, sir. So in this context, the allocation of 11 crores for this program, I feel it is uh, a, a, a not substantial amount. So I request the finance minister to, uh, in fact, yesterday, uh, the day before yesterday, I have seen in the news item that the honorable finance minister responded that this is a new program launching. It may not expect more than this 11 crores, sir. Sir, I, 11,000 crores. I feel, uh, sir, some amount has to be further earmarked for this program, sir. Sir, I know uh, due to paucity of time, I'm unable to express uh, many of my ideas, but I would uh, speak some few points on uh, rural credit, sir. So the definition of the rural credit has to be redefined. Sir, as on today, rural credit means the bankers are feeling that they have to give loans to the agriculture loans. So it is not the case. India is seen the villages, and as I read a few days back, that the 60 to 75 percent of the population in the next two decades would be below 20 years. Sir, many new generations is coming up, and this generation has to be taught. Sir, many students has come up, uh, they, 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 they come to the legislature and parliament members for having some loans. Sir, the banking, the bankers in the rural areas, they are not giving educational loans to the rural people. Their educational loans, as on today, they are being given to the mid, upper class, and uh, uh, students from the 
urban towns. Sir, I request the Honorable Finance Minister to direct the bankers that some loans has to be earmarked, especially the education loans to the rural poor has to be earmarked, and each rural bank has at least should give 10 education loans to the students in the rural areas. Each rural bank has to give at least 10 education loans to the students who prosecute their higher education. Sir, with this few words, sir, <coughs> I would like to say that, sir, uh, the finance minister has announced about the five ultra mega power projects of 4,000 megawatt each. Sir, unfortunately, my state has not been in this category, sir. Sir, Andhra Pradesh was not given such an opportunity to have a ultra mega power project. Sir, Telangana region is gifted with large reserves of coal which are located just adjacent to the Godavari River. And this part deserves to have an ultra mega power project. Sir, I request the Honorable Finance Minister to have one more such project and that to be established in this region. At least we feel that something will happen in the backward region, sir. Sir, another uh, access control expressways with certain traffic intensive sections were also mentioned. And this was also not uh, any such pro, uh, such road uh, are being not identified in Andhra Pradesh, sir. Sir, uh, you are well aware that Hyderabad Vijayawada section is the most traffic road, one among, one among the most traffic road in the country. And I request that uh, this road also should be included in this access control expressway, sir. Sir, lastly, I would like to say, sir, that the Jawaharlal Nehru Urban Renewal Mission was announced, sir. Sir, Andhra Pradesh has around more than 8 crore people. Yes. 8 crore. Andhra Pradesh, Andhra, Pradesh, Andhra Pradesh has a whole. Sir, only three cities were identified. That is Hyderabad, Vijayawada, and Vishakapatnam. Sir, Varangal city unfortunately missed the deadline. They kept 1 million, 10 lakh population. Warangal had around 9 lakh population, 8.5 population, and it missed the bus. So I request the Honorable Minister to include a, a criteria should be changed. And it is a request that 7.5 lakh criteria may be evolved. So that I am told today I met the concerned urban development ministry people. They said if 7.5 lakh population is taken, another 15 cities are going to be included. Sir, I request the finance minister just to change the criteria so that some more cities may come under this criteria so that this Varangal city, which is also a backward, uh, is falls in the backward region, so this city may also be taken up, sir. With this few words, sir, I would like to place these papers so that... Uh, Thank you, sir.